Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Yesenia and this is Yesenia's Beauty Room where I share with you guys what I keep in my beauty supply uh, as far as cosmetics, hair supplies, um, skin products, and so on. So thank you so much for stopping by and I hope that you will stay until the end of the video. And for those who are returning, thank you, thank you. It means the world to me that you are watching and that we are spending time together and for all your support, I really appreciate it. So this video, I just wanted to just do a little bit of an update. Uh, basically, it's gonna go, uh, I'm gonna link the previous video down below. Um, and kind of just give you guys a little update on my hair. So I know that on one of the videos that I made was that I used this uh, conditioner uh, mocha color um, uh, deposit in uh, hair color cream on my hair and it turned my hair it was more um, of an ashy brown color. So I'm gonna link that video down below. So I ended up doing um, that video and putting that on my hair back in November. So it's been almost two months now. We are about to be in January. Um, and so my hair looks like this and um, I feel like it went back to normal. I feel like there's a little bit of that brown mocha still in my hair but for the most part like you can see right here it's like a little bit darker but then it gets lighter um but for the most part I'm gonna do like a little turnaround so you guys can see uh this is my entire hair so you can see here that it ended up going back to blonde um so it has been about two months now and uh, I have to say that it ended up washing off fairly quickly, maybe after like the third wash, wash, excuse me, my hair ended up looking a little bit green. Um, and just keep that in mind because uh, obviously I didn't put any kind of like red under my hair. I just straight up put mocha color in my hair. So as it faded away, it was fading into like a greenish brown color on my blonde hair. Um, I didn't mind it because I knew it was going to wash off anyways. It wasn't nothing like that was going to stay permanent. But if you might like, you know, mind something like that, uh, just keep that in mind so that uh, you kind of aware of like what you're getting yourself into. Um, for the most part, I do feel like my hair was blonder. Um, and it just hasn't gotten to that blonde blonde that I had. Right. But I mean, it's still, I still can probably wash it. What I've been doing is so that I can get all of it out is I've been using dandruff shampoo and then I've also been using uh, clarifying shampoo because with clarifying shampoo, you end up taking all the excessive oils out, any kind of dirt, any kind of gel, any kind of hair products that you have in your hair, it ends up like stripping away your hair a lot because it cleans it very good. Um, so I try to use that like here and there, not so often, only because my hair is already really damaged. And when I strip away my oils, it's making it even more damaged. And I can feel it after I, you know, blow dry my hair and do everything. I can, I can feel my hair texture and it's not a good feeling. Um, and I will say that, um, after I did that hair deposit in, with the conditioner. Um, I think it's a really great product. They have different um, colors to mess with. Uh, for example, they have like pink, they have, I think they have purple, I, you know, they have a mocha color, they have black, they have uh, purple, um, not purple, like purple shampoo. They have that too, which is to like enhance your blonde and make it more platinum. But they also have like the color purple to deposit into your hair and like pink and all that other stuff. Um, so they have like a lot of colors to play with. They have red, they have everything. And I started thinking, I said, you know what? Maybe next time if I was to like try to do my hair again, then maybe I will put um, like a red on my hair and then put the mocha color on top uh, just so that it wouldn't fade into that green 
weird brown color um again i didn't really mind it but like there was times where i was like okay like i can't wait till this washes off so um you know just because i knew it's gonna wash off so just keep that in mind um but yeah i think that for the most part i maybe need like a few more washes and i think i will get back to my blonde that i originally had um and again um let me know like if you guys have any tips or tricks to get back to that color that you had because i felt like my blonde was a like on the lighter lighter side it wasn't as kind of like it's kind of toned down right now and i feel like it has to do a little bit with you know the conditioner that i used um but uh, it didn't damage my hair. Uh, it was a nice little thing to do to kind of change it up. And, you know, a lot of people were like, wow, you went back brown. And I was like, only for a little bit because it's going to wash off. And they're like, oh, okay. But like everybody that I, you know, saw, they're like, wow, you look so much better in brown hair. So it was nice to kind of like go back and forth because you're not damaging your hair, you know? So there's like nothing to lose. I do tend to see though, like a few times, that there are like some green hues in here um but for the most part i feel like again i just probably need to wash like maybe a couple of more times maybe a few more times twice and i should be back to normal um but i just wanted to update you guys and show you guys you know the like how i looked before and then how i looked after i put the conditioner and then how i look now after two months and so i've always like when i was doing research on you know trying this product out i kept looking like okay how long did it take how long did it take to come off of your hair because you know sometimes you don't want it permanent um or is it going to stain it or is it this or is it that and so i could never find a video about how it looked after a few months like an update so here it is i did it for you guys and here's my hair and hopefully you guys uh this helps you in making a decision if you are a blonde and want to try a different color but you're scared um hopefully this video helps you in making that decision uh so that you can see that it does go back pretty much back to normal and back to your blonde hair that you originally had um so I do think I'm going to go a little bit blonder in the summer, but we are still in the winter time. So uh, maybe in about six, seven months, I will uh, lighten these bad babies up a little bit more. Um, and then maybe I'll try the conditioner again next fall or winter. Maybe I'll try it again this winter. I don't know. I'm still debating because I still have like half a bottle left. And I'm like, what am I going to do with half of that bottle? Um, it was fun when I did it. So I may do it again uh, before the summer comes just to kind of play around with my hair. Uh, but this is an update of two months later, you guys. So I hope that this video helps you guys. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it. And please feel free to share it. And if you want to see any of my future videos, uh, I will be uploading about fragrances, about skin, uh, skincare, makeup products, and so forth on what we keep in our beauty room. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload another video. Again, thank you so much to all of you that have taken the time out of your busy day to join me in this video. And I hope that all of you guys have a blessed new year and wishing you guys all the best in this upcoming year. And I hope that you guys will stay tuned. So until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Take good care. Bye.